So what I'd like to share with you right now is Kathy Bassett instructing me and teaching me and I want you to watch me give my first Gal Gates injection and how easy this seems. So one of the things I find you really helpful is mm -hmm. when I'm palpating is I'll actually put my finger right there, the inner trig notch. And then as I pull back, then I'm kind of lining my finger up and giving myself, you know, that that orientation. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. You're actually you're actually kind of seeing that for for yourself now with right. the angulation of your finger. Yeah, you because know, otherwise, you know, I'm used to lining up this. So my right. brain's going to take me here, right. my standard IA, but I want my brain to go with me up here. So when I come in, I want to choose the height of my penetration in respect to the mesolingual cusp of the molar. Okay. And I'm going to be distal to the second molar. Okay. Still, I'm coming in over the bicuspids. Okay. Penetration will be there. Open as wide as you can for me. Slightly uphill inclination. And again, as if I'm able to track towards my finger Your that's finger. palpating on her fondo. Uh, <laughs> so I'm going to start from over the bicuspids on the opposite side and go to the height of the mesiolingual cusp of the first molar and then move distal to the second molar and place the topical there. How does that look to you, Kathy, for it? That looks good. Injection point. Okay, how you doing? Right there. Right here? Yep, okay. good right there. If you can, can you see that okay? Yeah. Okay. And then just go ahead and start your twizzle whenever you're ready. And just keep your focus on, you know, where that location is near the condyle. All right, there we go. That Jamaican drum tells oh, you that we're done. <laughs> Guess that you don't need to buy rotational on the way out, but it was it was fun it was to do. Fun to practice it again. <laughs> wow! Now, if you would, uh, I remember from you telling me this morning that we want the patient open for two minutes. So, Anna Maria, I'm going to make it easy for you. There you go. Just relax against that. Oh, perfect. And I will start the clock for two minutes and we'll see if we have any anesthesia by the time that two minutes comes around. Right. All right. It's been two minutes. I'm going to go ahead and remove that. You can go ahead and close. Actually, it's been a little more than two minutes. Wow. Let me ask you, and I want you to be perfectly honest, unless oh, it's an wow. answer I don't want to hear. Are you starting to get <laughs> upper and lower? Upper and lower. Kathy, what does that mean? Was I in the wrong spot? If she's upper, remember that the um, maxillary branch of the trigeminal nerve is going anterior about the same point that the mandibular branch is dropping down. So when we're up that height, we can definitely get collateral anesthesia. People will often have their auriculotemporal nerve also anesthetized. So not, not at all though. uncommon to have the ear feel some numbness too. All right, thank you. That was awesome. Thank you, oh, Kathy. Thank you. Wow, look at that. I got bonus maxillary anesthesia in addition to the Gal Gates. Th that's no more difficult to give than a, a standard IA technique that we're taught in school. I, I think it's just because it's new and because we haven't done it, maybe we're aiming higher than we have before. It se seems a little bit scary, but that was uh, very effective.